What's up everyone, Dinebot here, and welcome back to Flight Sim and 2024 Favorite Places to Fly. Today we are in Australia, specifically we are over on the western coast in Exmouth Gulf. So we're going to be taking off and just exploring. There is some interesting things to talk about here, so let's get flying. Okay guys, here we are on the ground. We're going to go ahead and get rolling here. We got our trusty TBM today. As you can see, dirt strip, not a lot here. And you might be wondering, what exactly are we doing out in the middle of nowhere in, on the west coast of Australia? Well, we will answer that soon enough. our flaps up and you'll see the gulf just over there to our east off the right hand side of the plane let's pull up the vfr real quick and i'll give you guys a uh, quick idea of what we're looking at here trim went tragically wrong there so you'll see we're on this peninsula here now this is the ningalu coast to our west we do actually have the uh, coast itself, obviously, with a pretty massive reef to our right, obviously, the Gulf. So we're going to be checking out the Gulf today, but all of this is kind of interconnected. I'm going to go ahead and bank us on out over the water here. Now, some of this is protected land, some of it is not. There is a lot of debate going on over that. But what is interesting about the Gulf itself is that it is a very biodiverse area. Uh, you have sea turtles, whale sharks, humpback whales, and several of those species use these as birthing grounds and nurseries, particularly the humpback whales. And I don't know if we'll be able to see it uh, from here. I can edit over there if we need to, but. There's also a massive mangrove forest that stretches along one side of the gulf. And that is a nursery for many other kinds of species. So, absolutely beautiful up here. Go ahead and hop to the outside view and just have a look around. My TBM a fantastic plane to take for something like this. Fast, but not too fast. Easy to fly. There we go. Now, we mentioned the mangroves. They stretch for about 31 miles along one side of the gulf. And there are also a lot of seabirds that use these as stopovers on their migrations, uh, such as gray-tailed tattlers, lots of other birds. And this is kind of an oasis, in a way, in the wider part of Australia that we're in right now. Obviously, as we look, we see a lot of air and land. Well, the Gulf is not especially wide, as you can see. We're crossing in a pretty good clip here. Do note, there's not a ton of airports out here, so if you're thinking about flying from one to the other, you are going to be pretty limited in your choices. You can see two of them right there. Although, I would recommend flying up the coast. It is quite spectacular. I've messed around here a couple times, uh, flying over the Great Barrier Reef off the other coast of Australia and doing several other things. Now, one thing the sim is not going to do justice to is some of the things that you'll see out here in the bay. Obviously, a lot of the wildlife not here. And you'll note a couple of islands out in the Gulf as well. Just 
just simply a really neat place to come and fly. And it's nice to take a look at some natural areas from downtown. We tend to do a lot of cities and things on the series, but we are approaching the other side of the gulf right now. So, not too long of a flight time. Let's zoom the IF VFR out for you guys. Well, it's all the way out. Let's zoom it in a little bit for you guys. You can see here, this is actually going to be the mangrove forest up through here once we get there. But, just simply a neat place to come and fly. Thinking about taking a look at some more areas like this that are uh, just natural preserves. Just beautiful, interesting scenery to fly over. That's kind of the point of the sim in a way, isn't it? But that will do it for me today, guys. You can see the peninsula fading away in the distance back there. So if you enjoyed the video, found it useful or helpful, hey, like and subscribe. It helps the channel out. If you have a place you'd like me to check out, leave it in the comments below. And if you're here to the end, we'll watch time is key on YouTube. So thank you very much. My name is Dybot. We'll see you guys next time.